Just getting out of bed. I had three hours of sleep. I was so hopeful I would sleep more. I'll tell you what's wearing me down is the psychological torture of all this. You know, those that didn't survive, they they didn't survive. They didn't die because this medical injury took them out. They died from psychological harm, psych psychological torture and being worn down from all this and abandonment and everything else. <laughs> financial destruction, you know, mentally, physically, spiritually beaten to pulp. I have run a marathon for decades. I have been running and running and running a week most of the time for decades. I see glimmers of hope, but I see some change. I've had two nights of six and a half hours of sleep. It's the first time I've slept that much in 18 years. But the psychological torture. I'm waking up. I know that there is nobody here for me. I know there's nobody I can call. There's nobody that will come over. There's nobody will, that is here on a bad day or a good day. A bad day to help me get through or a better day to help me go celebrate the isolation, the lack of support, no love and support. I've got an advocate in another province who you know, that can't be compared to love and support here. That can't be compared to somebody coming over and, hey, let's go for a ride. This is what's going to break me is the psychological tor torture. Some of the people that have been, have gone, I really, at moments, I, I really sometimes think, there's one, one person in particular I think about, I, at times I feel angry towards them because I think, why, why couldn't you have tolerated more of this? Like, they were only months into this. Some of us have our years into this and it makes me angry. Why couldn't you have pushed through, gritted your teeth and forced yourself forward when you had so much going for you? Why couldn't you push harder? And then there's moments I think maybe this person was full of wisdom. Maybe they knew. Maybe they did not want to sign up for years of torture, physical and psychological torture. I Sometimes I think I wish it would have had more wisdom and not signed up for, not pushed through. 
this is what will get me in the end is the psychological torture, the lack of support. The, all the support here has dropped off. Uh, one person showed up. I knew trouble had arrived and everything changed. I don't see comments. The support has dropped off. Uh, my channel's shadow banned. The comments are shadow banned. All it takes is just one ugly person. I'm being asked to prove that this isn't psychological. That this isn't a mental health issue. The absolute torture, psychological, mental health torture I have been through and am living every day because of medical harm. And I'm being asked to prove that all of this is not a mental health issue. All of this was caused by doctors and the medications that they over-prescribed. And the harm that the medications have done. I flip back and forth whether all of this is Chiari malformation or long-term harm from over-prescribing. I now am thinking that maybe all of this is long-term over-prescribing. I'm being asked to prove that this is not a mental health issue. There's no way I can prove that it's not a mental health issue with a system that works against people. All the comments in my medical records There's so many derogatory comments since I began waking up and figuring out, figuring them out, right? Fig you know, since I began medically researching, since I began becoming educated about all these medications. There's so many ways I've been harmed by them and their actions. I have been overdosed again and again. I can prove that with my medical records. I've been overprescribed. Every article you read, every article you read, everything you look up and access online, on the internet, is worded very carefully to blame the patient, or you will not see articles that, for example, long-term harm from abusing benzodiazepines. You won't see articles worded. It's all in the wording. That's how they escape, escape responsibility, escape You won't see articles that say patients injured from long-term prescribing, over-prescribing, patients over-prescribed. You'll see uh, use disorder, or what's that called? Uh, something abusing. It, it means abusing pharmaceuticals. You won't see substance use disorder or something. You won't see... Patients injured from overprescribing, from being overprescribed. This is what's happening. This is, but nobody's brave enough to, to 
print articles that say patient, you know, injury from overprescribing. Long-term inappropriate prescribing. Everybody's protecting. Everybody's protecting doctors and everybody's protecting you know who that's making all of this. <laughs> when this injury began, I mean, I have made hundreds of phone calls in hundreds of phone calls for help, for resources. Every rock has been turned over looking for help. And someone's brilliant idea was, well, and this is likely true. Well, if you can't get any help through the healthcare system, because there's very slim to non, slim to no resources, how about you turn to the mental health care system? Because there are resources. There's hands-on help. There's counseling. There, they can come and help you with your home. They can come and a social worker can help you with things. This, that, the other thing. You know, you're losing your house. You're, you need support. You need help. And you're, you're too ill to house clean. You can't manage. You know, on and on. All these beautiful, wonderful resources. So someone from that division came here to my home. All lovey-dovey. All kissy-kissy. And they're working on me to sign up for this and uh, occupational therapy and on and on and on. And we'll give you the world if this was the clincher, if you sign up with a psychiatrist. Psychiatry has injured me. Psychiatry has misdiagnosed me. Psychiatry has overprescribed me. Psychiatry has overdosed me. <coughs> Psychiatry has long term injured me. Psychiatry has physically and psychologically traumatized me. Psychiatry has misdiagnosed me again and again. And they do. Many people have no idea the rate that they misdiagnose people. I don't even know if people will see this video because my channel has been shadow banned, whatever the hell that means. And I don't know, maybe one out of 10 people will see it. So I'm like, you want me to sign up with a psychiatrist? There's nobody to protect. Oh, we will. Oh, will you? Will you will you speak up? Will you make your voice heard and and fight for a patient if they're being misdiagnosed again? Will you really? Sweetest honey, lovey-dovey. This one woman tells me she's the gatekeeper. Of, of services tells me really narcissistically in a strange way she's a gatekeeper I said what does that mean wow that sounds like a really important position what does that mean she keeps people out from services that she doesn't think is our is worthy mm, you sound like a really important person <laughs> this is the person that was here signing me up So they're talking me into this. And I'm like, well, I mean, somebody has to be protecting me. Who's going to protect me? They're telling me, well, you know, they're not all bad. Maybe you'll get a good one. You know, um, look, just sign up and we'll see which one you get. So we moved forward and... uh I called them and which, which psychiatrist, 
who, which psychiatrist's name came up? Who am I supposed to be signed up with? And they're trying to get me to sign papers. Which psychiatrist's name came up? They tell me. And I said, over my dead body, will I sign up with this guy? Over my dead body. They were on their way to, they were on their way to my house for me to sign papers that that I was signing myself to psychiatry so I could get hands-on help. What I learned is when you have a psychiatrist here, they can do whatever they want. They can do whatever they want to. They have all power over you. They can take your home away. They can put you in a group home. They can lock you up in a psychiatric ward. I, they tell me whose name came up, and I said, over my dead body. You know what? There's good people. There's bad people. There's good psychiatrists. There's bad... Well, I can't say I've met a good psychiatrist. I can say that I have only met one psychiatrist that I what my opinion is that he is a sociopath and this is the person's name that came up I haven't seen a psychiatrist in about 10 years this is the name that came up this sociopath I can tell you about my experience with him in another video it was brief my opinion is that this guy is a sociopath and other comments on his reviews online, rate your MD. He's the only other psychiatrist that I have, he's the only psychiatrist that I have seen patients make reviews saying, this man is a sociopath. This man is a dangerous sociopath. What blows me away is these Reviews are regularly monitored because I'm watching reviews removed, regularly removed on other doctors' reviews. These reviews sit there on his, on his, on his name. It just blows me away. There's no way. There's no way. I would darken this man's door. And they were on their house. They were, they were on their way to my house for me to sign papers, for me to sign all my power over to this guy. I said, hell no. Hell no. There is no one to protect patients from people like that. There is no one to protect patients. What I saw in him was reckless, bizarre, cunning, over-the-top manipulative, uh, sociopathic behavior. I had brief dealings with him. And I, I literally straight up said to him, what is wrong with you? There's something wrong with you. <laughs> like, what's wrong with you? I ran from this guy. This guy almost... This guy prescribed me a horrific overdose with a great big smile and flashy white teeth. Absolute con artist and sociopath. And I said to these people, the team of people that, you know, all lovey-dovey and will come and help you in your home and will come in and help you with this and that. I said, hell no. And they said, well, okay, let's try another one. It's Russian roulette. Let, let's put another bullet in the, let's put, put another bullet in the gun and see what happens. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe not. Let's, let's play Russian roulette with your life. Maybe not. Maybe not this time. Maybe call me in another lifetime. We're dealing with madness. We're dealing with, you know, 
I mean, r literally Russian roulette. And they know it. There's nobody pr to protect people. It's so bizarre. Like, what a bizarre human experience to enter into this, knowing that no one is going to protect me and fight for me, fight for my safety. So that I can have someone to come and clean my house for an hour? Are you kidding me? Give up all my power power and, and rights and my physical safety and my my mental health? Are you kidding me? Now someone is asking me to prove prove that this is, isn't a mental health issue. My God, this the cards are stacked against me in a thousand different ways. There's no way. My last doctor I saw impaired three times. I'm in medical crisis and the physician is impaired in front of me to the point where I said at one, one appointment, are you okay? And oh my God.